Hi everyone, in this video we are cooking a dryish curry we are using pangash, pangash, we call it pangash fish ok, a lot of pangash, okay, I don't know how you pronounce this but anyway, pangagusisius fillet right, and you can get hold of this Tesco's and as does any other large supermarket. I have not seen any of Sainsbury's or, or Morrison, but I'm sure you, I'm not we get it from Tesco's or Asda. They probably have them. The majority of Bangladeshi or Asian grocery shops have this. Okay, so you've got it, here is the fish here. It's basically fillet. You can use tilapia fillet. You can use salmon fillet. So we are going to cook it with uh, new potatoes, but we kept the we split the potatoes up in half and we kept the uh, skin on. Uh, the new potatoes, and here we are. We got a dish already, and we already simmered some sh shredded onions. We used the one large onion, and we simmered it for about five six minutes. Now we're going to put the, the spice in, and we put in one teaspoon of haldi powder, turmeric, uh, one teaspoon of, so we put in two teaspoon of chili powder, because now in this dish, I do not eat too much hot stuff. I mean, I try to avoid the hot stuff. But the missus, the wife, she likes hot, so she's putting two teaspoon of chili powder here. Right, okay. Let's stir it up a bit. I'm stirring at the same time holding this spoon. Another one, two teaspoon of coriander. Coriander or donia powder. Vanilla powder, two teaspoon, So the more you burn your spice, when it comes to the end of the curry, it loses its raw smell and the flavor. You know, make sure you always, when you cook, make sure that you do any kind of curries, like fish curries, make sure you tend to burn the spice. So how do you burn it? You keep on simmering it till it comes to a dark color, dark brownish color. And if you don't do that, then your spice tend to smell of raw spice. Right. Yeah, we're just tipping some water in there. You can put the lid on and leave it for a couple of minutes. Right, so when it comes to chopping coriander, coriander comes in all, all sort of shapes and size, shapes and sizes. So you know, you wash. Make sure you wash your coriander first, and check out if there are any rotten ones inside, because you don't want to put the rotten coriander into your curry. Right, so the best thing to do is make them into a pile like this, and then you twist it around like that into a, a bundle okay and then you start chopping it well look, use a slightly bigger knife than what i'm using okay oh, i should have put in something underneath okay 
make sure you look after your fingers. Don't be, at the same time be careful when you're chopping it. You don't want to cut your fingers. Right. Now as you see this size, look, it's finely chopped and here we are. It's, and here, separate the, the ones who need more chopping. And just, all you need to do is hold your fingers knife like this upwards and just go down. 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 Like that. Okay, and do that a couple of times. And you'll have a finely chopped coriander. If you're using a slightly bigger knife, then you should be just like that. Put your couple of fingers on top of, top of the knife here and press it down. Like this. The more time you press it down, the finer cuts. You have a little, really, really tiny chopped coriander. And there we are, that's fine with this lot, and I can do the same with the other lot. Do it a couple of times. There we go. Alright, in case. Alright, we're done. There we are. Alright, we just added a couple of whole green chilies. The purpose is if we chop the chilies and put, the, put it into the curry it will be extremely hot because we already added a uh, chili powder so what we, we've done just put the whole chili in there All right now we are going to put the, the potatoes in yeah, put the potatoes in there and mix it in all right now we are going to slightly put some water um, just boil some water and just put some water in there so the water will make sure the potato gets cooked we leave the, the lid on for roughly five to six minutes, then we'll put the fish in. Because the fillet won't take that long to cook. Now the we had to put a bit more water in the middle of the cooking so the, the potato gets cooked because these are quite hard. New potatoes tend to be hard. Now we are going to tip the, the fish in now. Let's tip the fish in. Mix them well. We'll put the lid on and leave it for about 10 minutes. Right, we're just going to we just added a slightly slight amount of water. And the thing to do with this type of curry, you know, do not stir too much. Because if you stir too much, you're going to smash all the fish. So it's best to use a cloth and get hold of the handle and and just shake it, shake that pot. Now we are and all this lovely coriander in. Eh? 
just gently, gently, gently stir a little bit on top of this so it makes the coriander oil. And as you can see, that's it. We're almost there. Now all you need to do is serve to your guests. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are finished our filter fish pangash with potato alu, new baby potato curry. As you can see, there we go. There's a bit more left on that dish on the, the pot. And we just managed to pick up some here. Once again, thank you so much for watching uh, this video and all of my other videos. I hope you're liking them. Please click like, subscribe and comment button. Write comments on it as well. Once again, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And please, please make sure you comment on those videos. Then I get to know, uh, you know whether you like it or not. Excellent. And go ahead, try this curry at home. You know, let me know how you like. You know, leave a comment behind after you cook it. But. You can obviously you can make it like a curry, you can like a buna, use the less sauce when you're doing buna. And try using different other fishes like you know, but I know that uh, we Bengali people like fish with bones and I'm not gonna tell you to use with bones, so go for it. Use the fillet of fillet fish. Whether it may be salmon, maybe tilapia, maybe pangash, most of the fishes are available in large supermarkets. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video.